Insert creative sign on here. Oh, hi. I feel like that's going to get corny and shit. It is. <laughs> Unless you got a better one. That's what this YouTube channel is about. Stripping away from the corny just for right now, we're actually going to get a little serious. Yeah, we're going to do something we don't normally do, which we should start doing more often. We're going to start doing it more often, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about music sensitivity. And what we mean by that is, out of all of the arts, you know, visual art, uh, uh, acting, uh, music, things like that. Literature. Literature. Music is the one thing that if you criticize someone's taste, they get the most offended. Yeah, people don't like that shit. Like, they... I don't know why. It's like, you, you criticize... Or not even criticize. You can just say... I don't think this person is particularly talented or I don't think this person, I don't like this person's style of music or genre of music and people get like, how dare you? I uh, I have a good example of that. You weren't, you weren't expecting this one. I know, I feel like I know what you're gonna say. The other day we watching the Oscars and I said something about Lady Gaga and you were like, excuse me? You said Lady Gaga comes off as arrogant. And I, I think she kinda does. I wasn't offended by that. But you acted like you but were. But like well, you no, were. because Having watched a lot of interviews with her and like being being a very big fan of her, I understand her mind. I don't. I, I I honestly don't think she comes off as arrogant. But like I said, that's your opinion. Yeah, so it doesn't but, matter. But the way you the way you acted then was not the same as how you would act if I would have said something about Meryl Streep. I probably would have because if you said Meryl, like, if you said Meryl Streep was arrogant, I'd be like, well, see, no, no, no. no there's, there's a difference. If I would have said something about Meryl Streep or like. Or like if I if I say something about like uh, during during us watching Lady Gaga's performance at the Oscars, which was a great performance, every time we talking, you like pause. What were you saying? It's like really, dude. I was pausing it because I didn't want to have to talk through it, even though we talked through everything else. That's beside the point. That's beside. Anyway, the point. um, but no people 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 get very very uh, uh, offended and, and like this guy. <laughs> If you criticize, if you criticize their their favorite musicians, then their favorite performers, as far as like singing and things like that go, and I don't want to. Do you, do you have any reason as to why that may be? I think it's because people get a close personal relationship with these artists, so they feel like they have to defend their vision. And I wonder why they get why you get more of a close personal relationship with an artist than you do with a, I mean, with a a, a singer. Or a musician or whatever than you do with an actor. I think it's because when we drift away, and you know, uh, when we drift away, we put our we put our headphones in, and our relationship with you know the people in our headphones can last all of say three to five minutes mm -hmm. most of the time. So we can constantly keep replaying that, learn the words, blah 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 blah. Um, and you can get touched by music and everything. Not that you can't get touched by a movie, mm -hmm. but with a movie, they seem like stars. They seem like untouchable people. Well, we get touched sometimes. I'm just, I'm just. No, no. I was, gonna, I was gonna say they it, musicians seem like that too. Yeah, but it's. I think the difference is you can't. Like you said, you put your headphones in. You can't escape to a movie all the time. Not all the time, right? So, and, and the actors, as much as they, like, reach out to fans and, like, have a fan base and understand that fan base, they don't necessarily uh, get into it like musicians do. And because musicians have, in a way, more to push. Not to say that, that musicians who are... Push? Promotion wise, and like you think so? Yeah. Oh yeah. Huh? They a musician is gonna because they have out, to constantly stay relevant. They're gonna put out. Well, actors have to stay relevant too. But this is what I mean. They have to put out an album. They have to put out singles from that album. They've got to promote music videos and tours and all this stuff. And I'm not saying I'm not saying all of that because I think every musician is like I'm gonna like get these people under my wing so that they buy my shit, which they are technically because buy my shit, but. They, that's a way to make it seem like not only am I asking you to buy my shit, but I'm also telling you, like, buy my shit. I love you because you buy my shit. Like, I appreciate the fact that you buy my shit. Actors don't really necessarily have to be like, go out and buy my movie. Like, 
Because the movie is going to promote itself yeah. most of the time. Yeah, they don't um, have to do that. It's like, you can put my name on this and people will buy it or go and see it or go and buy it. I think it also has something to do with the fact that you feel, and like I said, this is hypothetics, but I think people feel like they get to know the the, the, the personal aspects of the musician more so than the actor. Because <laughs> unless you're watching interviews with an actor... All you're watching on screen is that character. A lot of actors don't get very personal in interviews either. You think musicians do? Well, not because I, I mean I don't think that I don't think that there's that much of a difference. Not necessarily in interviews, but they're going to be. If you write your own music, it's automatically going to be more personal. That's what I mean. Like, if you listen to say like your Eminem's or even your Lady Gaga's or whatever, Demi Lovato, anybody. Well, yeah, when you listen to them, like you're like, okay, this was you know who they were when they were writing this. This is how they felt when they were writing it. Blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> but if I watch a Will Smith movie, I'm not watching Will Smith. You're watching. I'm watching. You know, uh, what, what, what's the guy's name? I can neither. Uh, Agent, I Agent K. Yeah. Agent, yeah, Agent, a, a, he, Agent J. J. Yeah, I'm like, what's he K or I'm J? watching Agent J. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not watching Will Smith. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, if I want to watch Will Smith, I'm gonna have to watch an interview. Right. And then, like you said, he might be on in that interview, trying to be funny because everybody would expect him to. Right. So he might not necessarily be the real Will Smith. Mm-hmm. But that's why they because mm-hmm. you also feel like these people who are really speaking to me. I also know them personally. And a lot I mean, of musicians, look at Stan. Stan is a perfect example of that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of musicians make music for their fans. They make it for themselves, which I appreciate that much definitely, more. Definitely. But that music that they make for themselves is kind of like an, the fans are an extension of themselves. So they make the music for the fans, which a lot of the times it's like if you aren't a fan from somebody from the beginning, you're not really gonna like them. And if it, if you are, like come onto that bandwagon later in their career. When you go back and listen to their stuff previous, you might not like it because it's different or it's, you know, I, that bothers me when people say, oh, so-and-so changed. Like Nicki Minaj, oh my God, it pisses me off so much. Nicki Minaj changed. You know, Nicki Minaj has money and she can do what the fuck she wants to. Uh, what do you all think? And it's, this isn't going to be one of your typical YouTube videos where we, where we say comment to fill up our comment section. We, we want to actually start a dialogue. Yeah. We want to hear what y'all got to say. to us about Straight up, we want to hear what y'all got to say. Do you have a musician that you defend, or, or or do you feel like you need to defend a musician? If yeah. so, tell us why. And are you one of those people who you would defend, say, like, visual art or acting more than you would your music? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Now, talk to us. We really are curious about this, because me and this dude actually talk about these things sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Off camera. Music is important to both of us, and so is acting as well. And visual art. Oh to him, yeah, more so than me. Not that I don't appreciate it. Um, but no, so that being said, y'all, uh, just, just just talk to us, let us know. And um, we're going to keep more videos like this going. Yeah. So therefore, we can try to get a dialogue going. We're going to sit down and talk to you guys more. It's basically what the, the goal is. You all have a wonderful day. And remember, your favorite music sucks. I'm joking. <laughs> remember that all of your musicians don't have any control over who they are. And that's why they are the way they are. No, seriously, y'all have a good one. And thank you for watching. And stay tuned. And as always, peace. Bye. Same difference. I forgot to say it. (laughs) Same difference.